Hello, this is Genosis with episode 25 of Night of the Dead. All right, let's uh, get a little organized what's going on today. Oh gosh, forgot about that. All right, so there is going to be a horde today. We just um, did a day chock full of a bunch of catching up on achievements. We might do a little bit more of that today. But uh, there's two things I'd like to accomplish today. One of which, one is getting oil pumping machines crafted. Now, I'd like to get at least three of them operational. Now, I know here is not like the best place to do this considering the biome. What am I missing? I thought I grabbed everything. Oh, nails. Uh, yeah, so oil, oil machines are one of them. And I looked at those operational here. I like to harvest them at least once because I think there is a mission to harvest and fail harvest here. Because, you know, this place is not great. But also we need to build them in the desert. So I may as well pre-craft them here. And then we'll bring all the components uh, to the desert when we're uh, when we're ready. All right, three of them. Here we go, and I can just hit reload, and there you go, pumping along. Now I'm supposed to harvest this here, and I've actually had the drones harvest them last time. Oh no, this one. Okay, that needs to be reloaded. I thought sure. Oh, they've been harvested. Okay, yeah, that's that's a problem. I need to disable harvesting. So uh, which one's harvesting? This is this is harvest. So you 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 stop that. <laughs> I need I need to harvest it by myself so I can get credit for it. All right, with these uh, machines pumping away, you know, literally, there's uh, something else I'd like to do today, and it's related to the railgun. Now I want the railgun to be operational tonight, but admittedly this is not a great spot. One, it looks ugly. Uh, second of all. Uh, it's just it's just not a good spot because what's gonna happen? What if there's a giant back there on the other side of my base? Not not good. So I would like to build a railgun tower. So to do that, I just need to take uh, this apart. And second of all, I believe a railgun tower might be best served on top of this thing. I would just need uh, a means of access. I guess I can put another staircase here. Let me just uh, get the materials to build some wood structures. And I definitely I want to make it uh, flame resistant, so <laughs> we need some bricks and stuff too. All right, so let's get the second, well, third floor, I guess, of this uh, operational. Now, uh, this is not going to be, it's going to be a roof, at least. Uh, actually, or is it? Hmm. I'm trying to think of how this tower is going to look. So maybe what I'll do is that but yeah this will be the tower so i'm going to need some so, uh, kind of a you know, staircase to kind of go and like zipping around like that so i'll put this and then a floor and then that but then i kind of want to close this off so i was thinking about making this a roof so roof so just kind of yeah close it off like a normal roof and uh, make it look at least a little bit residential. There you go. It's uh, kind of looking nice. And then this will be a tower. So I just need to make this look a little neater. We'll need to use some roof corners. Oh, that's not a, I wanted to do for that. Um, walls. Yeah, triangular walls. Uh, roof wall. There we go. Just uh, up, 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 up. E, 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 E. There we go. There. Yeah, it looks uh, this looks, oh, it looks all right. Now, the uh, main intention, obviously, here is going to be this tower. So I'm probably going to maybe support it by columns because I don't want it to look, I want it to look more, I guess, uh, tower-like. So it's going to be an interesting, interesting build to try to keep that look. All right, I think this is high enough. There we go. And this will be the actual location. Now I still need to put a bunch of um, uh, posts down to support it so it doesn't look like it's floating because that'll, that'll annoy me. But now we have enough room for the rail gun. So let's... Uh, yeah, get this uh, centered-ish. Uh, yeah, right, <laughs> right there. So this should be able to th shoot. Yeah, because the, the giants are going to be coming from a distance, and this should be able to hit them pretty far. So let's get the ammunition loaded here. I need more of that. I also need to get it wired. But yeah, but first let's uh, get these beams down so this doesn't look too ridiculous. All right, that's looking pretty supported. Like. Well, hold on. I wouldn't like would like another one right there. There we go. Yeah. Okay. It looks uh, look. It's looking fairly supported. Maybe just a couple spots here because yeah, yeah. Just wanted to look nice and 
natural looking. Right, and then some beams for a nice look to smooth out those corners. I'll oh, get some friends uh, around here. It's interesting. You guys, uh... Hold on, where am I? There we are. <laughs> get your butts kicked, which is good. You, hold on. I don't even want you to arrive here to wear up my traps. No, thank you. That's a nice vantage point. All right, yeah, I'm digging it. Let's uh, take a look at it from a distance. Um, is there any way I can make this look nicer? Um, maybe, maybe a beam. No, that wouldn't make any sense. Um, hold on, yeah, maybe a beam like that. Okay, yeah, and then I'll put a wall here, and then put another peak right there, and then another triangular wall right here. But yeah, maybe a beam cross there as well. All right, all that being done, we have a lot of upgrading to do because I don't want this entire thing to fall down like a house of cards. So we're going to have some, uh, well, first, let's really just kind of go with um, the important part of it, which will be what is supporting the whole thing. So the, um, yeah, the stairs and the floors. Right? And we're already out of resources. So we're going to do a lot of grinding for stone. So this might take just a little bit to uh, get what I need. Actually, you know what? I have a lot of stone. I worked on log that night, so we can get tons of bricks. Didn't realize I had that much. Any more cement? Yeah, a little bit more limestone. Is that all the limestone? Yep. About down here. Limestone. No, that's it. Should be able to get a little bit more cement. There, yeah. I should be able to do a fair bit more upgrades now. The important stuff is cement now. So if something catches on fire, it won't actually fall down. It'll just look ugly when it's done. I think I've ever made stu stone roofs before. That looks nice. Got some shingles going on here. Oh, I was wondering, can you actually jump in there? No, you can't. <laughs> I was uh, wondering what was going to happen when I climbed up here to get this upgrade done. So I thought it was open, but it is completely sealed. I don't know how I'm feeding the fish. So we'll just have to uh, take their word for it that they're going to be all right. I think that's the major amounts of the upgrades done. I, I'll, I'll try to get some of the beams, or as many of the beams as I can done. But for the most part, let's actually take a bit of a step back. Ooh, that was a little far. Yeah, yeah it's got a nice look to it. Yeah, it's definitely unique. It's not a box, you know. At the very least, I avoided the whole just making a box issue when it comes to uh, building things. All right, so that's all I'm going to be able to do without getting more stone. So before we do that, let's uh, make sure the railgun is functional. I need more railgun ammo, which I believe is on the mechanical bench. So railgun, or is it? Oh no, it's electronic ammo. Uh, no, what's not electronics? This is electronics. It's the other metal workstation. So, or is it? Maybe I don't know where it is. Ah, uh, here it is. Railgun ammo. So aluminum sells copper. Ooh, okay. Um, I'll just scrape out some copper then. Yeah, I guess we're, we're going to be out looking for copper. I, I mean, once the railgun goes off, I think it'll be uh, not that big of a deal. Um, all right, so I need to get that wired. This is the next trick. So I'm going to need the wall extension sockets. Because, yeah, that's probably not going to make it all on its own. All right, here's the uh, first extension. Actually, it might just be able to get away with one. I'm going to need to upgrade that. Just need a couple of titanium. All right, so let's get this wired. So um, this is going out to that extension. You know what? I need to take this extension apart. So I no longer need this one. Now as for wiring, yeah, it's going to go from here all the way up there. All right, so it's only using like 10 meters. Not a big deal. And this should easily make it to the next floor up here. Wherever that might be. Ah, here we go. Should almost make a... Here we go. Should almost make like a um, a maintenance path around, but that is fine. This will this will work fine. So make sure this is upgraded so it doesn't immediately explode. All right, so yeah, I'm relying entirely on these four batteries to power all night. So I wouldn't mind getting some, another upgrade. So I just need some electric plate and a pulse transformer, and I need copper. Okay, so let's uh, take a quick resource gathering break uh, while the day is relatively young. All right, maybe I can raid a place. I mean, I only really need copper, but if there's somewhere that looks very tech, Ooh, yeah, I can't drive through that. I'm gonna have to move those. If there are places that isn't very, is it looks very technical, take a bunch of computers apart. 
that'll work. Otherwise, I may as well just hit uh, resource nodes, which is, you know, not a bad thing. I guess there's a lot of it. I do need stone. All right, so I guess we're mining. All right, I got uh, 36 copper. That should be enough to meet my goals here. Uh, you know, there will be giants. Oh, gosh, did I have giants last night? I don't think I did. And it's every other night. I was uh, correct in the comments. Oh, listen, I forgot, so I guess I didn't really remember what the deal is with the giants. But they are every other night, and they increase on the 10th day. So uh, every 10th day is a difficulty increase, and every other day in between is a giant attack. So I need to make sure that we have enough... Oh, we need some branches. Enough of the... Uh, ammunition to clear up the giants. I mean, it's not a big deal for me to kill them myself, but uh, you know what? I, I like to have the railgun take a shot at it. You know, literally. All right, three more shots of railgun ammo, so I think it'll be fine. You know, if there's two giants, if this can take out a giant in one or two shots, then that should be more than enough. If I have to take out my gun and finish him off, again, not a huge deal. So we get seven, seven shots loaded to go. Let's double check that the trap controller is configured correctly because I don't want to have to vaporize you know, every weak zombie that comes in the area. Yeah, just giant zombie. Okay, cool. Let's get a quick battery upgrade here because, yeah, this is not going to be sufficient. I don't even think this could handle the load. Um, so I need a solenoid and five ITM alloy. Tomorrow I'm going to head into the, de into the desert. I want to plan out a, an expedition so I can make a, uh, an oil rig base. Not that all that, I also need to hit the mine shaft, because I am low on magnesium and titanium. I just want to clear those mines out while I'm in the area, so it might be a good desert expedition. All right, solenoid, there we go. And now for the final upgrade. Here we go. No, no, that's the other one. There we go. Gotcha. Awesome. All right, so while I'm waiting for the Horde Knight, I guess I do have some other survival quests to, to, to finish up. So I need to have a bird's nest. Uh, that is... Planks and meat. All right, so birdhouse. Ooh, let's see. Probably just against against here is fine. Oh, I thought I had enough resources. What was I missing? Ranchers. Right, I used all that to make more bricks. I always need more bricks. So a few birdhouses wouldn't be a bad idea. It gives me some eggs. Also brings the uh, uh, birds in the vicinity. All right, a couple birdhouses. That's fine. I'll need to uh, actually feed them. Oh, these are all need to be harvested. Need to actually feed them in order to uh, get that mission done. So we'll uh, wait on that. Oh, do I not have a cooking table? Let's, or maybe I do. Mm, I do not. I'm gonna put the crafting table kind of in the middle of the floor because it uses some space. So, oh, um, see some tape. Simple enough. We upgrade and a couple lumber and upgrade. There we go. Now we can make all the fancy meals. All right, so I need to, wait, interaction, craft a table. Oh, I just need to craft. So I need roasted mushrooms and fruits. We got some mushroom, and I don't recall what fruit it is, so just grab a few of all the fruits. Roasted mushrooms and fruits. Uh, herbs, okay. Lots of herbs, so roasted mushrooms and fruits. Yummy. All right, what is next? Um, consume, okay, well, don't mind if I do. This gives us 10% movement speed for 12 hours. All right, I guess we're going to be a possession meat cut. Yeah, I guess we're going to be uh, eating a lot for this uh, segment. Okay, got the meat cut. That's that one. And now we need to uh, grill roasted meat. And it was a valid point. I really should have should have been doing this all along. It is silly I didn't do this. So just a little warning. So I got some attention points, which is nice. Now I need to make five cookies. Cookies, cookies. So that is five dough and some ginger. All right, five cookies on the way. No, not 14. Uh, five cookies. Very nice. Always carry cookies. Like, what do they do? Yeah, hip. Wow, that's a lot of hit points. Holy crap. That's all. Um, that's like good, as good as, or almost as good as antibiotics. All right, next we need to craft carrot cookie. We didn't even know there was a carrot cookie. Right? Oh, we just need five carrots. Well, that's easy. All right, five carrot cookies. What is... Oh, inventory is full. Is it? No, it isn't. Five carrot cookies. So what is? what do carrot cookies do? Carrot cookies. Holy... <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, that blows away antibiotics. Like, by a lot. 
That is insane. That's not that hard to make. Okay, I, I have not been utilizing food to the full extent here. Okay, that gives me another attention point. So, oh. Get level 70. Well, okay, that's going to happen either way. Combat cooking. French fries. Wait, consume French fries, stir fried vegetables, and pizza. Okay, don't mind if I do. All right, first will be French fries. And this is interesting. I'm cooking food. And this is... I right, know this uh, cooking food isn't exactly, uh, you know, prime content, but it, it's I find it interesting. Like, plus 10 damage for 12 hours. Like, that's some... Those are some good French fries. All right, five French fries. Now for stir-fry vegetables. I need five of those. And five pizzas. All right, five pizzas. That is... Do I have to eat all of that? For the question? Oh, my God. All right, uh... Oh, this is all eating. <laughs> uh, so donuts, muffin, and ramen. All right, I'm actually low on bird eggs, so maybe I should step up production here. <laughs> I normally wouldn't be using this much, but yeah, maybe I just need a few more of these bird's nests to uh, keep this stuff up. But that's, I already have so much food. This is uh, quite a feast here that's going to last me a long time. All right, plenty of bird's nests now. Yeah, no shortage of bird's nests. So... Six should be a good amount. That should keep us in bird eggs. Otherwise, I have to go bunch of... Wait, wait. Can I get... Uh, bird eggs... Here. I thought I could. I thought it was trees you would chop down for that. Maybe... Uh, maybe that's just... Yeah, maybe that's just uh, wild trees. Alright, I think we're going to take a little uh, stop on the uh, the food train here. Because that's uh, quite enough for today. We still need to do, uh, to do one little once over for things. Make sure we're ready for horde. But I think we're in pretty good shape. Not sure there's too much more I need to do to get... Uh, things operational. I added a little half floor uh, kind of access around here because I was operating things. It was just was not working out to be able to reach around like that. And it's just a shame not to be able to do a reach around, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that looks all right. I'm even upgrading the beams because I have the resources for that now. And this is looking pretty snazzy. I might go up to metal, but that's kind of a low priority right now. I guess I could do some beams down here as well. But yeah, it's, uh, so far this is looking pretty solid. This is not going to burn down today. I right, think it's still pretty operational, so we're still looking for things to uh, to do in the meantime while the horde is arriving. I realize I have an unupgraded plastic fishing rod, which I'm going to grab some resources now if I can to get this upgraded. I think it usually takes duct tape. We have a lot of rubber. I think it takes cloth on top of that, doesn't it? Cloth and rubber. All right, plastic fishing rod. So let's get that reforged. So this is going to be uh, reducing fishing bar size and sorry, increasing fishing bar size, reducing fishing time, and uh, the movement speed penalty. So process scales and fishbone. I might have to actually stop and do some fishing in order to get some of the stuff I need in order to continue. All right, so we have enough for the next uh, upgrade. So that's, yeah, fishing process scales. So now we need more process scales. So I need to do some fishing. So where did I put... My bait it's here somewhere. Oh, I have it on me. I guess that works too. All right, since I'm a pro fisher, this should be no trouble at all. Oh, this is a wacky fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's... Oh, you definitely need the upgrades for this one. Holy crap. Yeah, <laughs> that was a big one. All right, see if I can get some upgrades done off of those bad boys. All right, we got a little zombie attack going on here. I had to turn the traps on because I didn't want to keep, you know, wasting batteries and doorknobs. You guys, just leave me alone. I'm trying to get some fishing done. Alright, next upgrade. This is going to bring us to 55% fishing bar size, so another 10%. Okay, next one's going to need copper wire and aluminum. I already got the angel fish. Alright, and this brings us up to 65%. Uh, Zacco platypus. Actually, I think I have Zacco platypus. I thought I had... Oh, I got skin it. Right there. There, that should give us what we need for that. It brings us up to 75%. And Dura Lumen, 85%. Uh, beta, beta, and aluminum. All right, so I do not have beta fish or beta fish. Or, I think it's beta. How do you pronounce that? I think I had this problem before. Oh, right, beta. Is it you better your life? I'm going to say this incorrectly. All right, let's see how this new fishing bar size will work. And, you know, on the fishing time reduction, all that stuff. So it should be markedly better. Oh, yeah, look at the size of that bar. And that was so fast. Hey, look, a uh, better fish. 
And that brings us to level 7, 95% size. Ooh, okay, so we get titanium ingots, alloy, and copper wire, which is not a problem. This is getting pretty good. 105%, 18% reduction, and pay or peer, pick a Ruku scales and copper wire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a... Okay. <laughs> I was wondering to myself, uh, the golden koi, I, th I think it says it's an island-wide thing. Is that... I think it's supposed to be rare, but I don't know if you can get that out of your own fishing tank. Uh, if you happen, if you ever got that out of a fishing tank or know that it won't, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, I think I think it's going to be like a rare wild thing. I don't even know what the, it's for. I don't think it's needed for this upgrade. I think it's only needed for special recipes. All right, I'm just going to need, I'm trying to get a pick a Ruku, and I think that'll get me up to level 9 or 10. I forget where I am now. But as it is, it is extremely fast and uh, pretty easy to uh, get fish right now, which will be great, because when we head into the snow biome, I'm going to get my last fish. You know, as I'm doing this, uh, trying to get a specific fish, I believe there's a comment that I remember reading that basically said, oh, I accidentally canceled, basically said if you're looking for a specific fish, it might even be more ad advantageous to go to the biome. Like, I'm looking, well, maybe not, not just one, it could be quicker just to save and try to get one. Yeah, this looks like the P, pick a Ruku one. Is that Pikachu? Arowana. So yeah, if you want to get a specific one, go to the biome. It'll limit to those three or four fish, rather than having to get the entire gambit from the earliest fish, you know, see the easiest one, to the hardest one, all on the same spot. So I guess that's uh, up to you at that point. Oh, it looks like horde starting. <laughs> Here I am fishing. Uh, okay, I think we'll be okay for a few moments, and I'm fairly certain tonight is not a, a giant night. Um, from, yeah, because right now it's day 13. So the first giant night was day 10. Sign, the last night, I think the last, last horde night was 12. Or the last night was giant night, so that was 12. So there shouldn't be any giants tonight. So we're looking for a relatively uh, normal, benign horde night. So we're just going to uh, probably whip out the crossbow. You see zombies? Close to drum. Yeah, just whip out the crossbow and uh, kind of play along. And uh, shouldn't be any surprises. Oh, the zombies are here. All right, time to put our fishing rod away. I'll do that overnight. So uh, make, maybe make some extra arrows. What do we need for arrows? Uh, branches. All right, 500 arrows. Yeah, I'm good. We should be good for the entire night. Let's go. There's a lot of heavies in there. Look at that. Green glowing eyes. Oh, I guess I had commissions for those. Um, here's a, That's a lot of heavy zombies. Like, that's almost alarming. <laughs> so that definitely shows that the difficulty is continuing to ramp up as we uh, continue through these nights. A big old chunk of heavies there. You know, maybe we could... Uh, I want the rocket launcher tonight. That'd be a little fun. Uh, let's see, where do I keep my weapons? Ah, there's my rocket launcher. I guess you need the electronics bench to upgrade your rocket launcher. That's interesting. Just wanted to uh, see if I can do an upgrade or two. Are we okay up there? Yeah, I don't think they've made it up to the uh, second floor yet. Uh, yeah, so this is the bench I wanted to upgrade this in. So, grenade launcher. Oh, wow, how much damage does it, does it do off the bat? 465. 511. Increases stability and reduces the movement speed penalties, too. Very nice. It's okay, so bump that up to 558. Uh, 604. Uh, Sparrow and Aluminum. All right, now up to five, 651. Uh, pigeon. Okay, 697. Uh, duck, Raven, Copper. And all the way to 744. It's getting ridiculous. Eagle, Hour, Do, Aluminum. And a level 7. Oh, okay, now we're at uh, 8. Yeah, 790. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop right there. So the rocket launcher is now a complete beast. It's got a couple uh, rockets. I think it'll be good to fire off a few. All right, how much damage are we doing right now? I'm curious. Um, stats tell us we're doing... <laughs> 1,840 damage. I want a good chunk. I want a good chunk of these guys. There we go. That is a pretty good chunk. 
could also get blasted pretty quick. Alright. Take another look right there. Right there. Oh! I think they cleared them out. Let's get a little closer. I want to kind of see the Zach. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh, over there, over there. Right there, right there. Oh! That was brutal. And note to self, bring a rocket launcher to a boss fight. Yeah, it might be a little disastrous, but man, that would be fun. There it is uh, 1 a.m. and they're still going fairly strong. Uh, I think I remember reading in a comment that they eventually get kind of all night. So, I guess we could be looking at that. That's that's going to be a lot. Ow! Hey, 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 none of that. I guess we could be looking at... Uh, a whole mess of zombies by the end of this. It, if, it, if it's still bleeding an hour or two, I know it's been gone out because I've never seen the skull horrid active effect at 2 a.m. Oh, we get someone actually up there. Interesting. That's uh, vaguely concerning, but still interesting. We have some interesting rag dolls on this. Like, look at the body over there. He just, like, shoved right into the side of that, that building. So, gotta keep an eye out for those ragdolls. Those are fun. I kind of miss when the, uh, Blade Trap did it, though. But, you know, you can't have too much fun. Otherwise, that's, you know, game developers don't like us having too much fun. Oh! How far was that one? Oh, oh, that was pretty far. Okay, it looks like the, uh, skull just drained of its blood. Uh, so the, uh, we should be getting the last trickle of the zombies now. You know what, let's, uh, maybe get onto the boots on the ground and do some looting. I believe that is all of the loot, and I always find loot when I say that. I think we actually got it this... Oh, hold on, did I see something? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think we got it all. All right, that was successful Horde Night. Uh, there was a little bit of a, a leak here, so one of the crawler zombies made it through here. And I believe there could be some other titanium upgrades. Let me double check though. That's not a... No, that's not what I'm looking for. Alright, these are all semi-damaged. Uh, actually, that I can repair. But that can be upgraded. So there are some upgrades I can do. And I'm not sure why I would upgrade them. Would that make it faster? Or just more resilient? I don't know. But we got up here and it ran across these because they're really fast. And then this got kind of stuck here. And these can be upgraded as well. So... There are some upgrades I could do, and I look, would like to put a flamethrower here, once we get enough fuel to uh, satisfy it. Maybe a mortar, I don't know, just, some, just a couple a couple turrety kind of things to uh, do range damage up and down. And did I... Uh, yeah, that's... Did I fix that or did it reset on its own? I don't know. Maybe it resets on its own. Anyway, so that's uh, Successful Horde Knight. There's a few upgrades. I think we're still solid. So the design is really good. And I'm curious if that railgun, how that's going to work. So we'll have to wait for tomorrow night for that. All right, this has been Genesis episode 25 of Night of the Dead. Like we saw here today, like the video. I'd like to see some more in the future. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, catch us tomorrow. We do a an outing, uh, probably to the desert, get some mining done, and set up a remote mining or oil pumping operation. As I want to catch things on fire and also run our vehicle for longer than, uh, you know, and also be able to run our vehicle a little bit longer.